Thank you to Diago Jacob for suggesting the topic of today's episode of Adventure Time Top 10. Hello everyone, welcome to Adventure Time Top 10. This is a show where I discuss various top 10 things in Adventure Time. Let's dig right into this. Number 10 is Astral Plane. I like this title card because the colors really grab your attention. It reminds me of the Ouroboros snake a little bit. I also really like the color palette chosen. The vibrant blue with the white is very pleasing to look at. I like how they use a very dark black for the background. It makes the foreground elements really pop out at you. The artist did a really good job on this. Props. At number 9 we have Reign of Gunthers. I had to include this one because it had me laughing pretty hard when I saw it first. But on top of that, the art is fairly appealing. With the acrylic matte texture and the vibrant colors used, it looks really good. I also love how Jake is below the counter hiding. It's really adorable. Aside from that, we see a crying Gunther. But why is he crying? And number 8 is On the Lamb. This one is an interesting picture. It has very bright, warm colors in the background and very cool colors in the center foreground, which draws your attention to the center of an image. It looks like a picture from an apocalypse with an unnatural color in the sky mixed with a gigantic mutant insect flying over a city's populace. Very, very nicely done. Number 7 is Sky Witch. This would give a younger me nightmares, honestly. As you can see, this is a very disturbing image. This image does not have highly contrasting colors anywhere like some of the previous title cards. Instead, it has a decrepit humanoid skull emerging out of a lake. Ugh. I enjoy creepy pictures that are mysterious. This is creepy as heck. The creature in the lake reminds me a bit of a creature from a Miyazaki film. Just a little bit more morbid. <laughs> and number six is Freak City. I mentioned I enjoy creepy mysterious pictures. This is by far the creepiest and scariest title card on this list. Your eye is immediately drawn to the large black soul piercing eye in the center of the image, which gives you the creeps the minute you lay eyes on this picture. I really love it. I'm surprised Penelton Ward would allow this to make it into the episode, however. I mean, shit, this is a kid's show after all. It has this almost brown monochrome filter placed on the image, which only increases the creepiness. It appears that this humanoid figure is perhaps trapped behind something. Or perhaps he's coming out. Who knows? At number 5, we have Marceline the Vampire Queen. I love the art style in this. It has a very clean look to it which contrasts to some of the previous images that have some sort of texture effect placed on the image. That's why I like this image so much. It's really refreshing. This image has a very beautiful hue of red in the center of the image, with the borders of the image being very dark red and black. The font style literally pops out at you with this highly contrasting white superimposed on top of all the red. Very pretty. The town folk in the background seem to be mad at Marceline for some unknown reason. Mysterious and beautiful. Very nice. At number 4 we have His Hero. This one is a bit higher on the list due to it being just freaking epic. There is a very highly detailed Billy standing in the center of the image, looking dank as fuck. With the wind blowing in his hair and the creepy thousand yard stare he gives the viewer of the image. It's rat as hell, man. I like how they again use very warm colors in the background and then cool colors on the character being featured in the image. Aside from all the cool shit in this title card, Billy looks unusually decrepit and undead. Perhaps he was possessed. And at number 3, we have Heat Signature. There are many reasons I love this title card so much. For one, I love the very grey monochrome city in the background. It's very contrasting to the very vibrantly colored billboard. It gives life to this image, honestly. The billboard is loaded with beautiful bright colors that are pleasing to the eye. I love how Finn and Jake are just making this their little hangout spot. An old damaged billboard in the middle of a destroyed city. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> and at number two, we have the real you. This image is so damn relaxing to look at. The very blurred and smudged center and the happily sleeping Finn are like eye candy. So good. I love the very bright lightsaber blue near Finn's right ear. The image consists of a lot of warm colors around the border and further into the image. But the center is where the image really shines. Just gorgeous. Very well done. And number one is Little Dude. 
This undoubtedly made the number one spot because this is just fucking beautiful. The art style commands for your attention. It's such an interesting picture, with a title that mimics the shape of the flowers, to how Finn has roots growing throughout his head. The roots, all really macabre, also flow with the style of the picture. Really brilliant. Finn also has very dramatic shadows which really make him pop in contrast to the background. On top of all of that, they made the picture look weathered and old, which makes this look very authentic. This looks so good that it's something you would see on an album cover. I'm serious. It looks really good. But yeah, that's uh, gonna do it for this episode, guys. And uh, I recently noticed on my channel that we reached 1,700 subscribers. That's what I'm fucking talking about. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next top 10 list or Adventure Time Theory video. Peace out, guys.